Um, this is a book review on Christopher Paolini's Inheritance right here. So I'm gonna give my thoughts. This is this is not a technical in, in a kind of review. It's just what I think of it, and um, it does have spoilers. So I would not recommend you watch me further if you don't want any spoilers. Um, I think this is the first review of the book on YouTube. At least that's what I think. I'm not sure. I did not check. If not, then whatever. Anyways, let's get to the review. When I first started reading, um, they started an action scene, which um, I thoroughly enjoyed. It was interesting to see them, you know, just like showing them actually fighting. And the story was pretty long, and there were many side stories, and, which I find intriguing, especially with Roran. And, and I like the interactions between the characters the most. Um, I think that was really well thought out. Um, there were a few moments in the book that were kind of slow for me. But other than that, I think it was a pretty good book um, overall. Especially how they defeated Galvatorix, you know, it wasn't a head-on, like, meat-headed sword fight with Galvatorix. It was actually something, like, elaborate, you know, it was more, like, intriguing and used their minds and brains to actually, like, conquer me. I think it was really fascinating and interesting what Christopher Pelley did with to defeat, to make Aragon defeat um, Galvatorix, which is basically he made Galvatorix understand with some spell, with, you know, after Mutag, I guess, uh, lowered his, uh, Galvatorix's wards with some spell. Um, using the name of the angel's language, so yeah, and um, the ending, like as it, after that, I like all the, all the fighting, brutality, and all. The, we found the vault of souls with the eggs and the um, other elden elden Nares or whatever. Um, that part uh, was like like wow, because like for like the most part, most of the book, Chris, uh, they actually made you feel as though it was a hopeless battle against Galpatory. I thought for a few moments that he would, I don't know, somehow win or something, I don't know. But yeah, that was, that was really good. I think it was a really well written book, um, give or take certain slow moments, and the ending, um, the ending I liked too, but at the same time, like a depressing tone. I'm not sure if that's what it was intended to be, but for me, it was a depressing kind of tone, because um, he left Alagazia to trace the dragon, which is good enough, but him, I wanted him and Arya, Arya to get together, you know what I'm saying? But they didn't get together, so that kind of got it depressing for me. Just to think that he's gonna be gone forever, not to return. It's kind of depressing, at least from my perspective. My perspective. I like I'm a, I like those cliche endings with you know, the hero and the heroine, you know, getting married and stuff. I just like those cliche endings, but it was still a good ending because it made me feel emotional. So that tells you that's a good that's good writing. So it doesn't matter whether whether it's a negative comment I make on the ending or not. The point is it was good. But still, overall, I wish it was a little bit different. And, um, yeah, the ending was kind of on a depressing note. I was like, dang, he's leaving, and the kingdom's there, Roran's probably never gonna see him again, the elves are gonna see him again, Arya's gonna live her life and die, and never see him again, or probably rarely, and they'll never get together. That's, like, too painful. If I was an Aragon, I wouldn't be able to do that. That was too painful. But overall, the book is really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, congratulations to Christopher Paolini on actually completing it uh, for, like, two years. Pretty long book. There are slow moments, but overall, I'll give the book like um, uh, I give it four point nine out of five, just because that point one is like the, the ending part I mentioned. It kind of got me a little depressed, but it was a good ending. But still, I wish they, it wasn't like that. Yeah, that was a non-technical review, and it's a, I would recommend this book if you if you read the other books. And you know, it's long, but it's worth it, at least in my opinion. I, unless you're like an arrogant, smart person who needs a freaking complex fucking reading. This, this is a really good book, so just read, have fun, enjoy. Yeah, pretty much done. Hmm. Excuse me.